An acquired taste that has finally found home in our homes. Mashed potatoes is one of those things that really we didn't grow up eating, but we have grown to love. And today I'm going to be sharing how to make the creamiest mashed potatoes at home. Hello there, my name is Shita and I'm the cooking nurse. And you're welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, you know how much you mean to me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So you're going to start with washing your potatoes so that you can eliminate extra salt that is going to make them more dirty and maybe make the whole process messy but you can choose to uh you know jump that skip that stage and just peel them the way they are because you can clean yeah you have hands that is what they do best wash them clean and transfer them into a pot you can steam these or you can just boil them directly in water so transfer those into a boiling pan and put water in them and leave them to boil you're going to season this with salt and pepper yeah if you want but you must put in salt if you you do not allergic to salt just to taste just enough do not put in a lot because once this water reduces do not taste the water at the salt at this stage once this water reduces it is going to be too much for you so just put in just a little for it to be able to be absorbed by the irish then you're going to use some unsalted butter that is what i'm using and a masher meanwhile my irish still has some water just to help it mash properly i don't want it so dry and then i'm going to go in with a masher if you don't have a masher you can just transfer this directly into a sieve or you can use a part of a cooking stick if you have one and then once everything is mashed together you're going to add in your heavy cream or cooking cream and then continue mashing like this until you have a texture of porridge ish but still has some lumps and if you don't want it lumpy just transfer this whole mixture onto a sieve or a strainer this is a double straining sieve that you're going to force this mash into and through so that you have the smoothest mash ever okay do not add in anything if you don't want your mash lumpy at this stage so you just have to first pass it through the sieve and once you have this smooth you know mash product or yeah then you can add in anything else that you want but yeah that's it if you haven't subscribed again please subscribe okay thank you leave me a comment and maybe a like and share with your friends that you think actually love this or would love this recipe so you can add in cheese yeah if you want to but if you do not want you can just leave it the way it is this tasted so so good oh my god oh my god it's usually an accompaniment or you can just go on ahead and do any other thing that you want with it you see how smooth and creamy that is yes i assume you have left some little cream in your box so at this point you're going to add in just a little bit just a dash about a tablespoon and then you're going to mix it just to loosen it up and give it that creamy soft texture now at this stage you can add in maybe chopped vegetables like diced carrots and bell peppers just to give it a dash of color and then you can also add in maybe coriander that is dania leaves just to give it a pop of color and more life otherwise enjoy and i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you like the mash once you make it at home and make sure to tag me on instagram the cooking nurse and i will be glad to see the results and if you're interested in taking physical classes because there's more to cooking than just videos on youtube i am open the studio is open to take on anyone that is interested to reach out i'll be seeing you soon in my next video bye